Welcome to the topic basic parts of the aircraft. In this topic we will be discussing about the important parts which are there in an aircraft. Here it comes the various components of a civil aircraft namely fuselage, engine, aileron, stabilizer, empannage, rudder etc. The aircraft consists of five principal units. These units include the fuselage, wing, empannage, landing gear and power plant. The wings are attached to each side of the fuselage and they are the main lifting surfaces that support the aircraft in flight. Various wing designs, sizes and shapes used by the various manufacturers to fulfill a certain need with respect to the expected performance for the particular airplane. Flaps are movable panels on the back of the wing used to increase lift at lower speeds. They are used during takeoff and landing. Ailerons are the panels near the tip of the wing that move up and down causing lift to increase when they go down or when they go up. Spoilers are panels on the top of the wing that reduce lift. Monoplane is one wing plane. Since the 1930s, most aeroplanes have been monoplanes. The wing may be mounted at various positions relative to the fuselage, whereas biplanes have two sets of wings. High wing is mounted on the upper fuselage. Mid wing is mounted approximately halfway up the fuselage. Low wing is mounted near or below the bottom of the fuselage. Ailerons can be used to generate a rolling motion for an aircraft. A flap is a high lift device used to reduce the stalling speed of an aircraft wing at a given weight. The empannage is the tail of the airplane and consists of a horizontal stabilizer, a vertical stabilizer, elevators and rudders. The fuselage or body of the airplane holds all the pieces together. The pilots sit in the cockpit at the front of the fuselage. Passengers and cargo are carried in the rear of the fuselage. Some aircraft carry fuel in the fuselage. Others carry the fuel in the wings. Landing gears are designed to support the aircraft while grounded and to withstand high loads during landing without any damage to its structure while providing comfort to the passengers. Here we can see the complete schematic diagram of a landing gear. There are mainly five types of engines used in an aircraft. They are piston prop, turboprop, turbojet, turbofan and ramjet. These are the basic components of the power plant. In simple terms, an aircraft power plant is an engine. It is made up of many components such as cylinders, pistons and fans which help produce the energy needed to propel an aircraft. The power plant may be a jet engine or a combination of propellers and an engine. There are four forces help an airplane fly. The four forces are lift, thrust, drag and weight. Thrust is a force that moves an aircraft in the direction of the motion. It is created with a propeller, jet engine or rocket. Drag is the force that acts opposite to the direction of motion. It tends to slow an object. Drag is caused by friction and differences in air pressure. Weight is the force caused by gravity. 
लिफ्ट इज द फोर्स दैट होल्ड्स एन एयरप्लेन इन द एयर द विंग्स क्रिएट मोस्ट ऑफ द लिफ्ट यूज बाय एयरप्लेन द फ्लाइट कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स टेल अस हाउ ए पायलट यूजेस टू कंट्रोल द फोर्सेस ऑफ फ्लाइट एंड द एयरक्राफ्ट्स ड्यूरेशन एंड ऑल्टीट्यूड द एलरोन्स आर लोकेटेड एट द रियर ऑफ द विंग वन on each side they work opposite to each other so when one is raised the other is lowered their job is to increase the lift on one wing while reducing the lift on the other by doing this they roll the aircraft sideways which allows the aircraft to turn as the name implies the elevator helps to elevate the aircraft it is usually located on the tail of the aircraft and serves two purposes the first is to provide stability by producing a downward force on the tail the second is to direct the nose of the aircraft either upwards or downwards known as pitch in order to make the aircraft climb and come down the rudder is located on the tail of the aircraft the rudder is a primary flight control surface which controls rotation about the vertical axis of an aircraft this movement is referred to as yaw the rudder is mounted on the trailing edge of the vertical stabilizer or fin